Hi there. I'm just going to take us for a walk around this Kia e Nero. It's a first edition, so it's a, a, like a top spec car, um, and I like it in the white. I think the white's really nice. I think it suits it. Looks very smart. I much prefer it over the, the darker colours for sure. Um, obviously, it's a Kia in Nero with a, a 64 kilowatt hour battery. Um, that makes its party trick its range. So this car's capable of doing somewhere between 250 and maybe 300 miles worth of driving range. Um, other stats on the car. Let's see. It's done 15,000 miles. Uh, its next MOT is not due until the end of September next year and it will be going out with a fresh service. So there's nothing to worry about on this car for quite a while to come yet. Um, I'll just take us for a quick walk around the car and I'll point at any noteworthy little marks or bits of damage. Um, I have to say there isn't very much on this car, it's actually very tidy but we will go around nonetheless. See this alloy is fine. Like I say, there is only a couple of little minor marks. There's a little stone chip on the front bumper and a little bit of curbing damage on one of the alloys. As you can see, that side's all nice. Um, there's a little bit of corrosion here on that alloy. It's not actually kind of curb damage. Um, that just comes from someone using the wrong cleaning product on the alloy at some point in time. Bumper's looking fine. This alloy also okay. Like I say, it's an extremely tidy car. Now this is the alloy where there's a bit of marking on. You've got a bit of that corrosion from the cleaning products. And if you go around to the bottom edge, and it's only on the very edge of the edge of the, the alloy, so it's not a big deal. There's a little bit of curb damage there, but as you move away, that's just two foot away. You can see you can't really see it. So there's nothing to worry about there. And the only other thing I think is noteworthy, you've got a little little stone chip down there on the front bumper. I say little, it's quite large for a chip actually, to be fair. Uh, it has been touched in. Uh, I think probably do with another coat of touching paint actually. Um, hopefully that'll make it disappear even a little bit more. And that's it. I'm sure there might be the odd stone chip lurking on the bonnet or the bumper somewhere. Although I must admit nothing really stands out. Tiny little bit of wear on the edge of the, um, the charge flap cover. And that's it. I mean, you can have to, well, you can have to say this is actually a really, really tidy car. Um, like I say, it's just really that uh, bit of light curbing damage on one of the alloys uh, and um, that little stone chip on the uh, passenger side on the bumper. Uh, and the interior is nice as well. Obviously, it's the first edition, so it's the high spec car. So you've got these lovely leather seats, uh, they're heated. Um, you've got the JBL sound system upgrade. You've got all the driver assistance stuff, so you've got uh, adaptive cruise control with lane assist, which is practically a self-driving mode. Variety of drive modes, regen paddles, electronic handbrake, auto hold, decent media sensor with Android Auto, uh, an Apple CarPlay, and you get a heat pump in these first editions, so you don't get that in the others. So that gives the car a more efficient heating system. <coughs> so you get a better range out of the car in the winter months. Loads of space in here, it's a real practical car, and as you can see, there's nothing noteworthy or worth mentioning on the interior. <coughs> Excuse me. Just to be thorough, I'll pop open the boot. Decent sized boot, like I say, makes a great holiday car. There's a few little marks on the hard plastic in there, but obviously it's in the boot, that's uh, nothing major. Uh, and in that boot we will of course be putting the three pin charging lead so this car will come to you supplied with a lead that you can use to plug into any normal domestic main socket and charge the car from that so you don't even need to get a charge point installed uh, at least not immediately and, and there you have it if you're looking for a, a high spec 
great condition and great value Kia e Nero or a long range EV of any description this is a brilliant car and it's here on the forecourt ready for a test drive or a viewing uh, alternatively we can deliver it straight to your home uh, thank you very much for watching be sure to watch our other um, e Nero content on our website and our, or our YouTube channel hopefully you'll find that useful and hopefully we'll speak to you soon